So what is JDBC? We are connecting to a database. Which database? MySQL database. So what's the port of a MySQL? Whenever you install a software, it occupies a port. So the MySQL port is 3306. It's default, by default means if you don't change, it will take 3306 itself, right? Next, is it in our system or any other system in our system? How to represent our system, either the IP address or the local host. So what you need is when a Java program is interacting with a database, where is the database? What is the database name? What is the particular uh, username, password? Because here username and password will be there, right? What is the port number? These details should be given to Java. If you don't give Java these details, it cannot interact with the database. Understood my point? Yes, sir. Yes. If you want to send a particular mail, you need an email address. Mm -hmm. The same way if you want to write a letter, you need to know the entire address with the pin code. The same way, if Java want to send a data to a database, what is the database? Where is the database? What is the credentials? What is the port? All these things must be known to that particular Java. Suppose Java is there and uh, database is there. How do we perform an action in Java? We create form. How do we perform an action in Java? Action. Clear question. Okay. Yes. What is it? Method. Correct. We write the methods. Okay. Okay. So next. We do method calls. That is Java. How do we perform an action inside the database? Query. Correct. Query. Now, does the Java methods understand the MySQL queries? No. Mm -hmm. No. If I okay. say System dot out dot println select star from uh, employee. Will it give the data? No. 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 Some Next, does the uh, like MySQL understand the Java object? Mm -hmm. No. No. So no. There is a problem that they can't interact with each other, right? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Suppose a world meeting is going on. How they interact? If a France minister, a Chinese minister wants to interact, how they interact? Through call. Like, yeah, through network, basically. See, I'm Inter here. Interpreter. 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 The thing is, they can't understand each other's language, right? Yeah. So, okay. in between them, there is an interpreter or a translator, you can say. So that is nothing but JDBC, right? So what we are trying to do, the method calls and that method calls will given to be JDB, given to the JDBC. JDBC will go to the database means the methods, it will convert that into the query, query is sent to the database. Database is sending some records. Java cannot understand records, it understand objects. So JDBC will convert that into object objects. and give it to the Java. Okay. Now you understand why JDBC is required, it's a translator, right, between these two technologies? Yes. 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 Yes
Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But we don't have methods in Java which understand the queries. Then what we have to take, we need to take the help of JDBC, right? Yes. So JDBC help we are going to take. So next thing, what you are taking the help of JDBC API, right? Yeah. What is API? Application programming interface. interface. What it contains? Some codings which will change the, which will interact in between these two different uh, languages. What it contains, what is API, what it contains, not JDBC, I'm asking what is API. What it contains. HTTP code. <laughs> API, what it contains. Something coding is there, right? Which will uh, transform this uh, one See, software. I'm not, I didn't ask what is JDBC API. I asked API. Oh. API means what? Application programming interface. What yeah. it contains. Something product software, right? Uh, which no, will enable. No, no. It contains packages. Oh, yeah. Okay. Packages contains? All this. Uh, yeah. yeah. Packages <coughs> contains what? Methods. Class. All. Does package contains methods or classes? Class classes. Class only or abstract class interface also. Interface yes. any other type of classes interface. So package contains classes, abstract classes, and interfaces. Interfaces. Right? Yeah. <coughs> Next. The same way we have a JDBC API, which contains the classes or packages, classes, abstract classes, interfaces, and the classes contains the methods. Okay. So where is this API? What version I'm using? MySQL 5.0. So you need to search for a MySQL connector jar. Okay. What is jar Java archive file for that particular version? Which version you want? Like if I say 5.0.8, you need to download this jar. Java 2S contains all the jar files. If you just click on it, you can see here we are having the package names, right? These are the package names. Mm. These package names are all present inside that particular jar file. This jar it contains. Okay, so what was that uh, folder we had? So this is an external thing, right? Mm. For every database, a jar file will be there. Do you, do you understand now that? Like Postgres, Postgres jar file. Uh, Oracle, Oracle jar file. What <coughs> jar contains? This is jar, right? Executable jar file. Mm -hmm. Java Arche file. If you just right click and say extract here, means it's like a var file itself var file itself which contains this com mysql sub package jdbc sub package 
in the JDBC, we have this connection clash, right? So what is the package? com.mysql.jdbc and this clash. So what I'm trying to say understood, where we download this, we download it from the Google, right? Mm -hmm. Why we download it? Because I'm connecting the Java to MySQL and Java doesn't have the packages which understand the query. So we need those packages, right? Mm. And now the packages are where those are nothing but a separate API. That is nothing but the MySQL jar file, right? Uh, got the point or any doubts? JDBC, uh, JDBC API, uh, inside that we have jar files, right? JDBC API in the sense it's a concept. We yeah. say Java API, Java 8, Java 9 API, right? Uh, okay. But that also jar files will be there. But those are already there inside the Java. We are not uh, again getting it separately because we installed the JDK, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But MySQL okay. is a separate thing. Okay. So Java, if you want to interact with any other technology, those related mm -hmm. JAR files will be there. Okay. Suppose, simple thing, if you want to send a mail, mm -hmm. then again, what will happen is, uh, I'll just show you this button. Mail JAR. So mail JAR is there, right, for Java? Yeah. Oh. So file upload. File upload separate jar download is there, right? Commons dot file upload jar. Yeah. So for every thing, like if you want to do a task, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, like mm -hmm. zip extractor. Mm -hmm. Zip to jar. Uh, zip extractor to jar. Or message. Message authentication or message jar in Java, right? Yeah. So, for every particular thing you want to add to Java, that related package is required because Java doesn't have you uh, bring and use it. That's the flexibility of Java. Understood? What's uh, the main important thing is? Not only the MySQL thing, if you connect to a server, servlet, or a server, if I am having Tomcat server, that jar file is required. If I am connecting to a particular Hibernate framework, Hibernate jar files are required. Spring, Spring jar files are required. So for everything, separate jars are there. Like if I say Hibernate jar files, so you'll get lot of jar files, right? Yeah. Hibernate jar files. But here you will see one, but Hibernate you will see 10, 20. Again in spring you will see a lot of things like uh, 20, 30 jar files only. Okay. Mm -hmm. But how to solve this problem like 30, can you remember all the 30 names? No. Then they introduced Maven. So when you face a problem, then you use a tool. Okay, this problem was there. That's the reason they introduced this tool. That you'll have a clarity. Mm -hmm. Understood. Mm. So my main intention will be on the problem first. First, you should do the errors. You should uh, get the problems. Then focus on the solution. So the importance of the solution you'll understand. And when the requirement comes, Okay, for this problem, this solution we had, that understanding will be there. Right? Okay, sir. Okay. Next. And the most important thing will be a driver.
Suppose if I take a pen drive and connect to the laptop, does the laptop recognize the pen drive? Yeah. Yeah. How? They are machines. How they are interacting? There's already there, no, sir, in the laptop, um, which space is made for what? And it, it is already, I mean, uh, that hardware, how to function, it is already there, right? And so it can communicate with uh, this, whatever we are putting in a, I mean, uh, let me tell you. Okay, the thing is like C drive had uh, like C drive, D drive, all those are there, right, sir? See, I asked a question. But, See, Wi Fi is there, Wi Fi is a yeah. different device. Our laptop is connecting to the Wi Fi device. How connected? Yeah, when you install the OS, you install the drivers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wi-Fi driver, sound driver, USB yeah. driver. Yeah, Mouse driver also. Yeah. Oh, it is there in a laptop's operating system, isn't it? Means yeah. what version we are using. That's, see, I, it's there. We are not doing it now externally. Now it's uh -huh. coming internally only. Just I'm saying the driver uh -huh. is nothing but which is making the two different technologies or two different particular uh, machines interact with each other right oh uh, yes <clears throat> the same thing here the jdbc driver also doing i'm saying okay so okay. this is also provided internally we are not mm -hmm. taking it we are not buying anything new it's okay. there but okay. who is interacting means this driver which driver jdbc driver is trying to interact with the java and the mysql mysql so these three things make the JDBC connect like Java to connect to the database. Hmm. What my point? Yes. Right. So this particular jar file is in a separate any other location. Does the Eclipse know where the jar file is there? Just now we downloaded, right? Mm -hmm. Eclipse again is separate a particular tool, right? Hmm. Yeah. So we need to provide that jar file to the Eclipse or not? Mm -hmm. That yes. uh, <clears throat> way how to connect it. That I'll, are... show. I'll, I'll show the process, but okay. you understood this, right? The Eclipse doesn't yeah, yeah. have MySQL. So this mm -hmm. MySQL should be given to the Eclipse. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. How to do that? We add that in the class path. I'll show you how to add it. I'll create a new project, the JDBC programs. First, I'll create a file and say new Java project. I'll just say JDBC programs and say finish. Now, this program should access the jar file, right? Mm -hmm. Right click on that particular uh, project. Say build path is there, right? Mm -hmm. In the build path, configure build path is there. Mm. When you click on it, it asks for the libraries. Here we have a source, we have project, we have libraries, we have order and export model dependencies. We need libraries, right? Mm -hmm. So this configure build path, these options. 
try to go through them today like just have some knowledge google them why this eclipse tutorial also is important so in the libraries you need to click on add external jars that is an external yes. jar right the mysql mm -hmm. add it out jar. and uh, this is the mysql connector jar, jar right oh. huh. open it then apply and close okay so you need to add the external jar itself here then apply and close that's it <coughs> understood the difference so in this folder in this project whatever the programs you do that jar file should be there any doubts till now No, sir. No. So there is an extra external jar file. We just added it and all. But again, we have a class inside this, right? Com dot mysql dot jdbc. This is the connection class, right? Mm -hmm. Usually, if a class is executed in the particular, like this particular package. This entire driver, we need a driver first or not? Mm. Yes. Because without the driver, you can't initiate. If you want to have the connection first, the driver is required, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to execute this driver class, how to execute? How you can send this class to the RAM? You need to send this class, execute this class to the RAM. That is done using a particular concept known as per name method. What is it? Per name method. What the per name do? It return type is a class. What is this angular basis? Gen uh, type. I don't um, generate it. Yes, and you know, everyone is not saying why. You all know that, Generate. right? Yeah. Yes. What do you mean by generic? Unknown type, right? Hmm. So whatever the class name you give here, the name, that will be the output. Okay? And the return type is not void, int, float, it's a class. Then what is this method known as? On name. So can you please uh, repeat this from name to class? How you uh, did? I didn't get you. Uh, just give me one yeah. minute. I'm getting a call. Sure, sure. sure. <clears throat> Yeah, so the thing is, there is a driver class which is inside this jar file. This should be executed, means the class should be sent to the RAM, okay? Or you can say the class should be loaded in the RAM. For that, we are using a method known as per name method, where if I give the driver class name, this driver class name, the driver class will be loaded into the RAM. And if a method return type is a class, what is that method known as? I'm asking that. Directory method? Yes. 
So I taking long time. Is a factory method, right? If a written type is a class or abstract class or an interface. If it is not primitive data types, then it's a factory method. Simply remember. And I said from now onwards, whatever the methods you will see, those are factory methods. What is a factory method which generates an object, right? An object. Yeah. So when I give a driver class name, it will give the driver object. Okay. Okay. <coughs> so yeah. next. Mm. This is the first step. Without this driver, uh, loading the driver. First, what you need to do is load the driver class name. Right? We loaded with this class, uh, right, sir? Come again. Uh, um, so, what you uh, did here that uh, for name, right? Yeah. Um, this will be loaded to this class, right? This class, that RAM. this class is going to RAM, I'm saying. RAM, yeah, okay. I don't yeah, know that's... the RAM location. I'm just sending this class to the RAM. Okay, yeah. That is what I'm saying in the terminology that mm -hmm. uh, driver class is getting loaded into the RAM. Into the RAM, okay. You load the luggage into the truck, right? The same way the driver is getting loaded into the yeah. RAM. Yeah. Okay. Any other doubts? <coughs> Next, the first step is done. So, example, what is that example? This for name is also static again. Mm -hmm. Static in the sense where it is present. Oracle Java 7 API, right? So in this, I'll write a thing known as class. So these are all packages, I guess, classes. So for name method in Java. So where this funny method is present? Java dot lang dot class, right? Mm, yes. So class C is capital. So there is a predefined class object. There is a predefined class, class itself, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Next. If it is static, we call it by using the class name, right? Mm. Yes. Class dot for name. What is the driver class name? This is the driver class name. Where it is present? Com is the main package, MySQL is the sub package, JDBC is the sub package. In that, the driver is there. So, com dot JDBC dot driver dot, sorry, MySQL dot driver. Got it? Yeah. So, this driver class will get executed. If it is for Oracle, the driver class name will be same or different? Different. 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 So there is a structure. What factory method do is, mm -hmm. well, if you give a Oracle, it will give Oracle driver object. If you give a MySQL, it will give a MySQL driver object. So if you give a Postgres, Postgres object. So that is factory method, right? If you give a RD, RD object. If you give BNW, BNW object. The same thing we have seen, right? Yeah. So that's the importance of factory. There are a lot of options. So which option you select for that an object is required. So if you keep on writing separately, a lot of things will be there. How to reduce that? Have a factory method. In that, whatever you the pass the request for that, the object will be written. 
correct mm. next after establishing the driver we can send the data to the mysql but before that we should know where the mysql location is there right mm. we need to connect like here i have just connected to the mysql using the username and password right yes the same way we need to have a connection establish the connection how to establish the connection after the driver class there is a driver manager where this driver manager is present if you see a driver manager in java package okay so which package it will have java dot sql dot driver manager right so if you want to import the packages all the packages import the packages how you need to import the package java dot sql dot star so java dot sql dot star right so we don't give star right we give the particular class name that the eclipse will take care of it we just have to use the names so driver manager so what is driver manager contains a method get connection method in this to connect the database you need a url what do you mean by url only from the link it is the path it is the address link it will resource locator right resource locator then you need a username you need a password okay mm -hmm. so next what is the written type of get connection it is connection itself means when i use this driver manager to call a method this get connection it returns an object connection object and this get connection is a factory method because it returning the connection object right connection object yeah so again we are using a factory method itself right mm -hmm. see we are not using new here i didn't use new here also i'm not using new why if i give the url of oracle it should connect to the oracle mm. if i give the url of mysql 8 version it should connect to the mysql 8 version mm. if i give the url of mysql 5 version it should connect to the mysql 5 version mm. so it depends on the url right yeah yeah <laughs> understood yeah Yes. So, what is the URL? We should know the URL, right? Yeah. Yes. We are using JDBC to connect to which database? MySQL. 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 Correct. uh where is that mysql in our system or in the server in our system in our system so we specify local host or the ip address we can use yeah. local host or the ip address which port it occupied 3309 something 6306 3306 In this, there are a lot of databases, right? 
Hmm. Which database you have occupied? Yeah. Hmm. Let me. What was the database we created? Hospital. Hospital. <laughs> Hospital we created. Hmm. Right. So we can say that we are connecting to the hospital, right? Understood. The JDBC is trying to connect to MySQL, which is in the local host, at a port number to this database. Correct? Yeah. Yes. Next, username will be there. What is the username? Um, root. These things we know, username, password is root root. With these details, the connection has been established or not? Yeah. Yes, sir. Let's yes. try the program. It's very simple, nothing hard. Just write few lines of code, it'll connect. But the process, okay. like you can say com.jnit. I have a name. What is that name? You can say uh, database connection. So database connection will be there. Public static void main. First, I need to have a class dot for name. The written type is class itself, right? Mm -hmm. You can see yes. that it is static and we use class dot for name here, right? Yeah. So the class yes. will be loaded. So if I click on it, but it's throwing the throws class not found exception, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a checked exception. Checked exception means what the compiler knows. If I use this method, there will be the class or this may not be the class. Mm. So click on it. What is the class com dot jdbc dot? That's what we have to write, right? Uh, com dot mysql dot jdbc, right? D capital. That's a class. Remaining all are small, right? Yes. What is the return type? The return type is a class, but we don't require all those things. Just we need to handle it. How to handle it? Add throws declaration or surround with try catch. So Eclipse will take care of the throws declaration, right? Mm. So exceptions, mostly it will be de dealt with the Eclipse itself. We don't have to worry of it. Next, the thing is, the connectivity, the string, URL, username, password. We need to import these things. Without the import, we cannot work it, right? Like, see, it's com.mysql.jdbc, but don't select that. Select connection of java.sql, OK? Every time, select java.sql itself. And whenever you are connecting to the database, it must be handled, right? Because there might be a SQL exception. Exception, yeah. So again, this is handled by the throws Eclipse oh. itself, right? Mm -hmm. So this connection is null or not? If it is null, there is no connection established. If it is not equals to null, then what I can say? Connection established. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm. Uh, next, if I run this thing now. Connection uh, database. So it's giving what? No class definition found. Uh, uh, this com.mysql.jdbc.driver, right? Mm -hmm. So this is related to the problem of the 
uh, jar so it's a version might not be compatible so let's do one thing what uh, remove this add another mysql jar file mysql connector so i'm adding 5.1.18 it's in, uh, like there is also compatibility of this jar and this uh, uh, connection, sir. Yes, yes. See, if you are using MySQL 8 in your systems, you can't uh -huh. use My, MySQL jar file 5, right? Okay. Just I use upgrade. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. you need to use the jar file of 8. Okay. Okay. See, if you uh -huh. have the connectivity let's mm -hmm. say mysql 8 driver class name so what is it mysql 8 driver class name it will be different so this should be having a connector j okay so you need to again search in google like how to connect to mysql 8 okay that's what you need to change in the coding also. Like, see, I'm not using CJ, but if you are using MySQL 8, you need to use CJ. Mm -hmm. So the version problems, a lot of version problems will be there. So remember this point, whenever you are using a version, it should be compatible. So if mm -hmm. you're getting a problem, think in the version perspective also. Okay? Mm -hmm. The higher version is compatible to all, right? Or uh, not that the particular that will be simple. It's not that simple. Okay. If it is that simple, everyone should have done coding easily, right? Only the <laughs> thing is, you need to understand that if I'm using MySQL 8 version, the yes. JARSHILE file should be 8. It's simple, right? The version yes. related to this. Some people yes. can't understand that because they don't think in that perspective. That's why isn't I'm saying before itself. So okay. if I'm saying this MySQL connectivity in Java, you'll get a lot of codes. Mm. The Java database connectivity using MySQL. You can see based on that username password here. Root mm. root that com dot mysql dot jdbc driver, right? Mm. So this is five version they are using. See, you can see that MySQL connector Java 5.0.8. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. so it's based on the version of MySQL you are using. Let's do one thing. I'll execute this again. I just changed the jar file. I didn't change any code, right? Mm -hmm. I got executed. Yeah. Remember, uh, these problems will occur in future in a lot of programs. If I'm using string five, Hibernate, which is compatible to five? If I'm using Tomcat, which version of Tomcat is suitable? These things in the mind, you need to have that versions. Like some games doesn't apply in the Android version. Some games doesn't apply in the iOS, right? Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same like that. Compatibility yeah. matters. The so simple two lines we got the code this will be seen in the hibernate you'll see this in the uh, spring but these details i'm saying the values not the steps this will change okay remember this steps these are common this url username password the way of writing will be changing your task for today will be just simple this line single line of code understood yeah so we'll meet tomorrow Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. Right.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.